There's a bit of a race happening in Las Vegas this weekend with Formula One, but we are turning it into a NASCAR race. Hello, everybody, and welcome to some NASCAR Cup Series action at the Las Vegas Street Circuit here. Uh, as you can download this mod for a set of course, I'll link it down below in the description where you can get both the cars uh, as well as the track. And hopefully that Kyle Busch doesn't run you off and turn one quite like he did to me. As we're doing 10 laps around this track here, and now, of course, the first edition of this circuit in Formula One this year and there's been a lot of you know talk and, and some controversy around this circuit but we're not here to focus on that we're here to focus on the racing and, and most most importantly there's a big Las Vegas sphere in front of us as well uh, that actually works it actually projects different things on it as this race goes on here now as we dive down into one of the heavy braking zones there's quite a few heavy braking zones on the circuit you see the track map in the top right of your screen there as well and you see the long straightaway it's a bit lengthy and i actually timed it and i'll tell you guys in just a second how long it takes about in a stock car to get around there now but you go through this chicane here literally right beside the sphere you have a beautiful sight of the las vegas strip here as i'm gonna just absolutely bulldoze uh the number 51 of jj yaley now as we're gonna have a little race here down towards the sweeping right then left handers now this is of course the section of the course that gets us wrecked by the 51 apparently now as we're sliding we're somehow gonna save it at the uh cost of the 51's death now as we continue on and we head towards this uh, left hander and put ourselves onto the strip so it takes from here to the end of the straightaway approximately right around 20 to 21 seconds of flat out just about full throttle to get from one end of the straightaway to the other of course in formula one it's going to be quite a bit quicker than that but it's still absolutely insane how long this straightaway is here now and i'm very curious to see in f1 i mean the DRS, which is not, you know, current in this cup car, and F1 is going to be absolutely insane on this straightaway. And I, I can't wait to see how that plays a role. However, I won't be like watching much of the race because it's like 1 a.m. my time and I'll have to be up early the next morning. Uh, so I'll catch like the first like five to ten laps and then I'm headed to bed because it'll probably not be that great of a race. Uh, but we pass one of the one cars here uh, as we go towards this final corner, of course, uh, that we head back down towards turn one. But that's the whole lap around this Las Vegas uh, street circuit. Now three wide in the middle between Suarez and the 23. We'll pass them both uh, and get through into P16. Unfortunately, this mod only allows for 22 cars. Uh, so, yeah, I cannot go up to a, you know, a full cup grid of like 35, 36 cars uh, unfortunately is a 42 decides mr carson osevar is going to try and muscle me off the track and then he screws up anyways i wanted to try bump drafting down the las vegas strip and i would say got up to a bit of a rocky start to say the least i do a quick 360 no scope i guess you could kind of call that uh and then we continue on but we have some work to do now and that's uh trying to run down the cars in front now you notice with the uh ui i'm using everything works except for the lap counter so ignore the lap counter just look in the center top of the screen instead for the lap counter that extremely small number that you need a magnifying glass for so it's actually lap 3 of 10, not lap 1 of 10, which it says on the top left. But I'm using a Gran Turismo UI here in a set of course, and I think it personally looks fantastic. Around the outside of Kevin Harvick, or soon to be Josh Berry there. Uh, right to the back of one of the other Bubba Wallace cars now is that beautiful McDonald's machine. And I, I wanted a second chance at bump drafting to see if it works down this Las Vegas strip. So we're all over the back of this 23 of Bubba Wallace pinning it about 180 miles per hour down this long Las Vegas strip and then I misjudge it again and I absolutely KO the 23 into the 16 of Omendinger and I just wipe them both out and we continue on and act like nothing happened and continue on with our night here in Las Vegas having an absolute beautiful night gambling uh, with the bump drafting I guess you can say trying to go around the outside of the 9 of Chase Elliott right to the back of the 22. You guys don't know um, slash can't feel uh, but on my direct drive wheel in the stock car, when you are full power on the brakes, you know, full pressure, and the tires start to lock up, the wheel vibrates like nothing I've ever felt in my life. Like, the wheel was vibrating so much I could feel it in my chest. Uh, so I think I just need to make some changes to the wheel because, yeah, it was pretty uncomfortable when I would lock up a wheel uh, on the wheel. So we uh, passed any Hamlin, and we're up in a P8. Martin Truex Jr., Tom Gillen land up next, and now uh, I give Truex a little bit of a bump draft here. Look at this. I didn't wreck him when I did it. So we finally have learned how to not maybe wreck people down a straightaway. Uh, but nonetheless, up the inside into, you know, such a weird chicane here in Las Vegas. I personally really don't like this track layout. I don't really 
like much about this track other than the visuals. I feel like it's the whole selling point and of course the location is uh, the main selling point now. Uh, as you can see we are continuing to move our way through this grid however now about halfway through this race at the end of this lap at least. We're up to P7 behind that 38. I'm going to slip up the inside. Thank you very much. That'll put us into P6 now once we complete this overtake which we would. Uh, and then yeah, actually Gilliland fights back to my inside as I just drive right into the back of another Bubba Wallace that's on track here now and I lose the position to Mr. Todd Gilliland now, but we'll fight back up the inside into the, you know, the sphere section is what I'm going to call this uh, during the whole weekend of F1. Now, that 38 getting the elbows out as I'm going to dive it back up the inside, having a nice little scrap with Todd Gilliland. I kind of muscle him out F1 style and NASCAR style where they're just like, you know what, it's my corner. I'm not letting you have it. So, uh, Bubba Wallace, so up the inside of LaJoy. Uh, this is for the fourth and fifth here into that chicane, and you can see the 23 having a rough go. I'm going to slip up the inside. I bet he didn't expect me to go for that gap right there, but we make it work. So passing him up at a fifth around the outside of Corey LaJoy now uh, in this first sector and then right to the back of the six of Brad Kozlowski and up the inside we go. He doesn't make it hard. We go up to P3 and now the fight's on. Can we go run down the top two cars here now as we go through the sphere chicane and then I'm going to drop it. Yep, I've spun around. Okay, so now we've choked. If you've been around this channel for a while, you know um, my name is Gary Choking Owen for a reason. So we are down to P11, but I think we've got enough pace to still finish well and maybe even fight for the win. So we fight back uh, on the inside of the Hooters machine of Chase Elliott. We'll dive up the inside of Logano, catch him off guard. Mr. Denny Hamlin right here in front of us. Now, I want you guys to watch this on lap 7 of 10. You're about to see maybe the best road course bump and run in NASCAR that you've ever seen in your life. Here it comes, right to the back of Hamlin. I mean, you couldn't orchestrate it better than that. He saves it, no damage done, and we go through. I mean, that was absolute perfection right there uh, for NASCAR road course standards. So we continue on our way from forward back up into p8 around the outside of martin truex jr a little bit close quarters there unlike kosovar who ran us off earlier truex gives us room a bump draft coming to the back of the 38 of todd gilliland and once again look at this i, I did it without wrecking anybody and then we dive up the inside and we'll pass him uh, i could have went aggressive mode there and, and gone for a move up the inside of the six but decided to be a little bit cautious there uh, but we come to lap eight at this point just three laps to go and my menacing continues. I just absolutely destroyed the six now as I was trying to cross him over to get up the inside into turn one. I mean, it works in my favor. We get past him and the seven of LaJoy, and that puts us back up into fourth place with a couple laps remaining here in the Las Vegas street circuit now as we're right to the bank of Bubba Wallace now. This is on the run, of course, down that long bank straightaway. We call it or the Vegas strip, I guess. It feels wrong to call it a straightaway when we know it is a straightaway, uh, but if you're not calling it the Vegas strip, it's just like, what are you even doing? So, Bubba up the inside of the 42. We're going to get right to the bank of that 23 again. We'll look up the inside, down the straight, shoot towards that left curve, which is that final turn, of course, and you hit that start-finish line. I think they should have put the start-finish line on the Las Vegas Strip. I think that's a missed opportunity. They should have found a way. It's probably because it wasn't wide enough to incorporate a pit lane, would be my guess, but that would have been absolutely epic with such a long straightaway. And then putting the finish line somewhere on there. Oh, that would have been unbelievable. But nonetheless, uh, two laps to go. Fighting with the 42 car here as we go towards the breaking zone. I'm going to try and lunge one up the inside and take the position. It will be a pretty easy move, to be honest, now, as we're going to lunge down into the corner right against the barrier. You couldn't get much closer than that. Unfortunately, the leader, it's William Byron, and he's way too far out in front. We come to the final lap, and even if I run a perfect lap, we're not close enough to the 24 to get him. But let's see what we can do nonetheless. Hitting the turn one apex, I mean, absolute perfection through there hard on the gas pedal there on the exit of turn one and then on towards the next heavy braking zone let's see if we can get right up against that barrier again push the limits of this number nine napa auto parts machine that was perfection again into the sphere chicane through the left, through the right-hander, got on curbs both sides, got through there pretty well, and then of course we'll go through uh, the medium speed left corner, and we'll get through there very well as well, and on the run down towards the final run of this Las Vegas trip, it's going to be like the first time all race, we actually haven't had a car to slipstream off of, there's Byron right there on the Raptor machine, can we get to him, running a little bit wide, that's fine, it's NASCAR, it's no big deal, but unfortunately, just not going to be enough, we are quicker than the 24. But it's not enough time on the books for us now. William Byron is going to win in the NASCAR debut of the Las Vegas Strip. We're going to bring it home in P2. What a fun track, honestly, for NASCAR racing. Although I might not be a huge fan of the layout, it works really well in a video game uh, setting, at least. But that's going to do it for me. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.